Welcome to my channel Swiftland. This tutorial I will show you how to validate password, how to validate text box in bb.net on palm application. If you don't subscribe my channel yet, please subscribe and press the bell icon for upcoming videos. The server catalog has been SBR, start Mark of SQL Server has been studio. Okay, this is SQL Server authentication, click connect, yes it's connected. Expand the database, expand the my task DB. This is my database and expand the table, these are the table in the, in the database. Uh, now I'm gonna create a new table. Uh, column is uh, user ID and the data type is integer second column name is uh, username and data type is nbarker ok now password password is uh, also nbarker now save the table uh, with the name name is user login tab Use the login underscore tab click on ok ok my table is created add primary key in the user id set primary key yes now save and close I replace the table yes use the login underscore tab also added now uh, I'm gonna insert some records in this table so user id 100 user name Gen password j at the 123 and 101 trump uh, password tru hash 124 okay now start visual studio file new website a new project okay now i'm gonna create a visual basic project uh windows palm application uh, name the um, uh, project is uh, validation tutorial click on ok ok now my project is creating yes resize this table and i'm gonna design this from with the label control text box and the button control in that case first of all i'm gonna add a label control uh, this label control i will use as title of this form uh, so the text of this label control is uh, uh, validation tutorial form in this form i will uh, show you how to validate the text box and how to validate a password uh, using bb.net spam application uh, okay now change the back color of this form with the property and uh, change the back color back color yes uh, select uh, back color i just select the uh, back color yes uh, now add a level control uh, this is for user name text in the text uh, user name okay now change the font size uh, font size is uh, 12 okay and uh, now add another uh, level control this level control is uh, I'll use uh, for password and the new password confirm password so now uh, second level control is of our uh, current password and third one is for new password and fourth one is for confirm password okay now add text box control and just to drag uh, from the toolbox and drop in the windows form application okay resize this text of this uh, text box 12 font bold true okay now copy this text box and paste it in the current password, new password and the confirm password. Okay, this is for current password, new password and confirm password. Finally add a button control and design this button control. Change the text of this button control. Uh, font size is 12, font bold true and uh, for color button paste and back color is uh, green. Yes, now text of the button is change password okay now in the text box to text change event just uh, right click to uh, uh, check the password okay dimcon as new sql connection mm, i should add namespace 
and I'm species import uh, import system to data dot SQL client okay it's imported now uh, to get the connection listing go to the server explorer right click add connection uh, write your server name my server name is catalog hyphen as beer and the authentication is SQL server authentication username is SA and password is a uh, SQL server authentication password now select a uh, uh, database name my database name is my task db uh, uh, already shown you task can succeeded and uh, okay now this is uh, connected with the visual studio now with the property and double click to copy the connection string uh, copy and paste it in the double quotation okay now uh, it's connected as well server database is connected to the visual studio project uh, validation tutorial now command uh, dmc md as new sql command my sql command is select star from user sorry uh, my sql command is select password i already select on only select password uh, from user login underscore tab IR username I will select password based on username uh, which I will put in text box 1 username is uh, a person with the syntax uh, text box 1 dot text it will check the password according to the username for uh, uh, inserted in the text box 1 con ok now Okay, now dim dim pass as a string. Equal to text bar cmd dot execute scalar. I mean uh, password. It will extract password from the uh, database user log login tab. If pass equal to text box one dot text i mean if the database password and uh, uh, text box two password will match then then what matches will display then uh, go to the form design at level control beside of current password i mean text box two uh, it's dot dot okay uh, now i will display the masses uh, uh, in this level control uh, in that case change the name of this level control level control default name is level 6 uh, i just uh, named it with the lbl pass okay lbl pass msg now uh, if pass and text box 2 dot text equal then it will display the uh, masses in lbl pass msg dot uh, msg so lbl pass msg dot text equal to the masses will be ok uh, lbl mass, um, pass msg dot for color uh, color dot green i mean if uh, it will matched with the database password password then it will uh, display the text is ok and color is lime else i mean if it's not matched with the password in database then it will uh, display the masses as wrong and the color will be red okay now debug oh sorry i have to open the connection con dot open yes and after completing the operation just close the connection to con dot close okay now put username trump and password uh, password is put password oh and another the session login failed for user sa uh, sorry uh, i have to check the authentication mm, yes oh sorry id is sa this is correct but password is uh, you should put your password database authentication password okay now trump yes and password is see that one two three this is wrong and uh, t r u hash one two four yes now this is right so it's displaying okay and uh, if it's wrong uh, it will it's displaying uh, the mass is wrong okay now 
copy this uh, label uh, label and paste it in the confirm password and uh, now i'm gonna write code uh, in confirm password text uh, text change event to compare uh, the new password and confirm password whether it's match or not so um, in the textbook 4 i mean confirm password uh, text change event just copy this uh, code uh, from the textbook 2 text change event okay now uh, textbox 3 dot text i mean new password equal to textbox 4 dot text com confirm password equal then it will display the message in lbl uh, confirm msg what i already added uh, lbl confirm msg dot text equal to uh, message to the message message is matched and it will see it's uh, not matched with the new password and confirm password then it will display the masses as a not matched okay uh, now debug yes put username username is trump okay current password is uh, t r u hash one two three oh, still it's wrong oh, let's check uh, one to four DRU hash one to four okay now put password again current password is TRU hash one to four yes it's okay um, uh, then new password is Trump at that one to five eight and confirm password is also Trump at the rate one to five eight still it's not messed yes Trump yes now it's messed okay it's matched with the uh, new password and confirm password then button one dot enable equal to true else uh, uh, i mean it, if it's not matched then button one dot enable equal to false i mean uh, it will disable the button mm, if it's not matched the password and confirm password okay uh, in the uh, load event form load event or uh, uh, default is false to make it default false uh, just uh, uh, I create the form load event okay trump trump hash one to four yes uh, new password is trump at the rate uh, two dot two five and confirm password is trump at the rate two five oh it's not messed yes now see that and the button also enabled